this is another example of a strain index if you look at this job it might apparently look like a uh, um, it's a hand intensive work so we're going to use a strain index and show you uh, some of the mistakes my student makes to evaluate this job i use this in exam exam all the time and then they some some staffs i will um I will all discuss here what kind of mistake they make here to evaluate this job. So if you if you look at this strain index, so let's go ahead and uh, check the previous video on explanation of strain index. I'm not gonna go details on that. On this uh, case, I'll just evaluate this video. So this person is washing these plates. If you look at his entire uh, work, he's very smooth. Um, this is, I would say, his natural pace. I work as a dishwasher before. I wish I could be as smooth as this guy. He's really, really uh, smooth and you know nice. So if you, if we, if we, if we evaluate these, so this is the Excel macro we have used in the other videos. I'll post the post a link to theopeneducator.com so you can have this macro. Now, if we look at his effort, I would say. I wouldn't say he's barely noticeable on a Borg scale on this kind of work. His heart rate will be a little bit elevated. So uh, it's definitely not hard for him. He's working very smooth. You can go back to the video and check that. Um, exertion, on the other hand, I would say 100% of the time he's putting the exertion. If you just to look at his right hand, um, he's always um, putting some effort using, using his right hand. So it's a very high level of... Um, um, percentage of time he's uh, doing something all the time so I would say his um, exhaustion would be over 80% effort and uh, this one is sometimes tricky to count um, if you look at his um, cycle effort so let's look at um, starting from the grabbing the tray and uh, so he grabs the tray one effort grab let me go back because so so let's just see so here is he grabs the effort one effort grab the plate one effort putting them on another one two three so basically every single second he's putting some kind of effort he's not really uh, pausing or anything so his effort is over 20 um, per uh, minute and then i would say his um, posture is um um eh, perfect i wouldn't say any now this is one of the mistake my student do all the time um is this a relaxed job a lot of people think it's very fast rushed i think he's just normal you can go back to the video and check he's just moving at normally speed another mistake that students do dishwashing job is for eight hours however i did work as a dishwasher before um, my job description was basically everything cleaning the table cleaning the chair cleaning the floor cleaning big parts taking out the garbage so um, washing plates probably I uh, would say about maximum two hours in eight hours period now you should not choose two hours because I in my experience if the job description is like that if this person only work as just about 15 minutes washing the plates and then or maybe two three minutes washing the plate then uh, go to clean the garbage and then um, do something else wiping down or cleaning the tables and chairs things like that so if you let's say you wash for five minutes and then you get a break off do something else for 10 minutes or next five minutes so you should not add them into total hours because if you are getting break then your muscle gets break in there so they should not be added to let's say total plashing, plate washing time is two hours so you're not gonna choose something wrong with my excel so you're not gonna choose one to two hours say less than one hour even though the total hour is um you know uh, two hours of washing plate but you get a break so it's about 15 minutes maybe max you will continuously wash the plate and then clean the garbage clean some tables bring the plates in there so this is his his job is somewhat risky now this tool does not have any idea that he gets break in between and then do something else so um, but at this pace according to his strain index uh, this job 
uh, looks like a risky job. However, in my experience, I have seen that I worked over six months as a um, dishwashing, cleaning, and restaurant job. I have found at the end of the day, my toe to the head, everything is in pain. Everything. I was exhausted, fatigued at the end of the day. I did not necessarily feel something wrong with my hands or wrist or elbow. It's my whole body. I was just whole body fatigued. So I wouldn't say I was low localized fatigued by um, around the hands wrist or anything there was no localized fatigue my whole body was in pain i was in discomfort fatigue at the end of the day i felt like i would not go to the work next day even though i went there to work next day so um, this is more uh, i would say whole body fatigue type of situation than the strain index analysis situation in one of the later video i will discuss which two tools to apply for what kind of situation. Uh, in this case, I just wanted to discuss about a couple of mistakes my students do, especially counting the efforts, counting the duration, counting the, uh, especially the speed of the work and also duration of the work, which is a common mistake. Also in the NIOSH lifting equation, there is this duration also. If you get a break, then you really don't kind of add 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the lunch time, and then two, one hour in the afternoon that add up to one two hours this is not how you should do in ergonomics you know so maximum you can say is one hour if it's if you get 30 minutes work 30 minutes break 30 minutes work 30 minutes break then the continuous duration is basically 30 minutes it's not the total that you add um, to get something now according to standing index the job is risky uh, 6.8 if you get um, over uh, seven, then it's some, um, then it's hazardous. But between five and seven is some risk. It's not saying this person is going to be immediately injured. It has some level of risk, maybe, um, but not over seven. Anything goes over seven, consider hazardous. So this is not a hazardous job, um, even though you know it looks like a oh this person might get hard, but. According to standing it's not according to my experience, it's not really hazardous job. I said that um, before in my experience. At the end of the day, I get used to get really really fatigued. Now, uh, my experience does not count in ergonomics. However, uh, in if you, if your job description is kind of do everything, cleaning, mopping, uh, cleaning the garbage, washing big parts like those smashed potato parts used to be like. 30, 40 pounds, and then his sticky stuff in there was really, really difficult, bending my knees and backs and everything. So it makes me, it makes you really, really tired at the end of the day. Um, so uh, the the reason why I use this training is basically kind of uh, explain the the mistakes that a student make when I give this to analyze, use this training index and evaluate this job. So uh, especially counting the amount of hours they work on the job and then the speed of the work things like that